What's up y'all, Capone Sonson here. Welcome to another Ever Crisis video. So in this video, I'm going to be covering the battle ranking number four, the otherworldly subjugators. Uh, I guess trying to get a top tip 150, top 100. Um, I'm gonna be honest though, guys, get this right out of the way. If you do not have Cloud's anniversary set up, it's gonna be very, very hard to score well in this battle of it. This battle of it is very much tied to his setup. Having that fixed damage, that 40k, 30k, 20k, is just very, very kind of necessary to score well in this battle of it. And uh, I can give you some tips um, once I get into this about uh, ways you can probably guarantee top 350, top 500, but without the clouds set up, it's going to be very, very hard. And that's kind of unfortunate because I, I don't like that. It, it doesn't give much you know, variety to this event, you know, people that drew are just going to score better than people that didn't, and, you know, it kind of sucks, but, uh, yeah, if you drew on Cloud, I'm here to help y'all maybe score a little bit better, I'm, uh, 13th right now, 190, 1,941,785, 1, not sure if this is going to hold top 20, but, uh, I think I pushed it as about as good as I can, because having Cloud and Yuffie for the Genova battle is pretty, uh, critical to score very very well on that one i can score pretty decent but having yuffie just makes things a lot easier uh, but yeah i will get into both of these uh, by the way you have to score well on both of these if it was just baylor king you could probably bring your white dog vincent and you would do well on that i don't have white dog vincent so i can't really give a strat on that either but cloud will do both good in both of these he's kind of just required so uh, but i will give you some tips uh i guess the basic strategy if um where am I at? That's, uh, yeah, I'm in Genova. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you, like, the basic strategy of how to score well without any of this stuff, out without Cloud, without Yuffie, without, you know, drawing on any of this stuff. It kind of just comes down to lowering the HP to default and just kind of trying to one-shot or two-shot, three-shot the boss <laughs> before they get into their, like, their sigil phases or their first big attacks and whatnot. Um, if they kill you, then you kind of have to go from there to kind of start lowering magic attack or possibly defense, you know. But yeah, start from like lowering HP and just see how you can do. If you can't do that, then you have to start lowering defense or magic attack or P attack if it's the other boss, whatever. But uh, yeah, or if in Genova in particular, uh, lower this because this, uh, yeah, lose 10,000 HP at the beginning of the battle, you'll be at 1 HP. <laughs> Um, if you don't have that much, much HP. So lowering this could help you as well. But all right, this is my strat for Genova. Uh, for Aerith, she's going to be rocking uh, the Umbrella, the Guild Weapon, OB7. This will give you level 4 magic defense. So 30% to the whole party. Super, super nice to have. So everyone's magic defense is pretty well in this one. Uh, she has Fairy Tail for a big old Kiraga. And these uh, materia just like stat sticks for healing, and uh, I think I have sigils too. Uh, yeah, X sigil. Uh, then Aerith's back weapons, uh, silver collar for healing and buff debuff. Uh, same thing with centipede, heal, buff debuff. But the unique thing about Aerith here, we are going to be using our first ATB boost weapon. So if you do not have an ATB boost weapon, you, someone's going to die at the beginning of this battle. So it's extremely, extremely important to have an ATB boost weapon on your healer to start this battle. All right, so that is Aerith. Let's go to Cloud. So Cloud, let's uh, go to his main equipment. So Cloud, I have at OB10. Um, if you cannot do enough damage uh, to Genova quick enough to, before she gets in her first big sigil phase, the long one, uh, maybe lower the HP to 500%. I have it at 2,000% right now. But yeah, um, it, yeah. if you don't have this at OB10, you can might get away with killing it at OB6. But uh, yeah, you need a good Bahamut Sword for this one to get out of the battle quickly so you don't want to uh, trigger the Sigil phase. Uh, for the Bandit Sword, I'm running this because you need Magic Defense up. If you had Yuffie, Yuffie could do this on her own. But, you know, I don't have Yuffie, so I'm just going to have to do it with Cloud. Cloud's going to be raising magic defense multiple times to start the battle. And then his back weapons are kind of just, you know, stuff to increase his DPS pretty much. And HP. Uh, other, other stuff is just magic defense and P attack when it comes to his uh, materia. Alright, for uh, Tifa, I just brought, she's just here to be like a secondary DPS. So, uh, Guide Glove Tifa with... Uh, 
Hammer Claws is nice in this situation because she can decrease magic attack um, um, while also boosting her P attack. So it's kind of perfect for this battle against Genova because you want to get Genova to three tiers down magic attack. Uh, you could just use, if you don't have Hammer Claws, you could just use, um, what's it called? Uh, her Tiger Fangs, right? But other than that, P attack all out weapon. Uh, this is P attack and ability uh, potency, and this is just more magic defense. So yeah, that's pretty much Genova. Uh, the whole key to this fight is to try to kill Genova as quick as you possibly can without triggering that first big long sigil phase. Um, if you trigger that, then the battle is going to extend a little bit longer, and then you're kind of kind of be you know it's going to affect your score. But if you go into the sigil phase, I guess. You know, if you can't avoid it, then your score should still be somewhat decent, but this is kind of just the basic setup of what I would run in this situation. Having that ATB boost with Aerith is uh, pretty critical. And like I said, if you can't kill it fast enough, you know, just adjust the HP and whatnot. So 500% or 200% or lower this uh, thing right here to 5,000, you know. Whatever works for your account. It's kind of hard to cover every single account because everyone's account is different. Anyway, let's get into this battle now. All right, guys, let's get into the Baylor King now. So the Baylor King, uh, this one is actually, this is probably the easiest level 200 I've ever done. You could probably do this with a cloud that's probably OB1. Um, if you can't kill it fast enough though, like I said, decrease the HP. You know, if you can't kill it quick enough and you have Cloud's weapon, drop this to 4,000, drop it to 1,500, see what works for you. Uh, but in this situation, Cloud here, his his stats really don't matter that much. It's all about this weapon, man. Doing guaranteed damage, the 40k, the 30k, 20k, whatever whatever you have this weapon at. And then everything else is just stat sticks for HP and magic defense. HP, magic defense. <laughs> and then this one, water resistance, boost attack. Uh, water resistance is nice because his the Baylor King's first big attack is a magic AOE water attack, and it hits pretty hard if you don't have good magic defense or water resist, right? And then Cloud here has a Runer Blow, and then other stuff right here is just like magic defense stat sticks. So there you go. Let's go to Matt in this situation. So you could also run Aerith, depending on how your Aerith is. I like Matt in this situation because I don't have Kamara Aerith at OB6, uh, so I like Core Defender here to boost um, Magic defense three tiers, so you can take as little damage as possible in that first big uh, water AOE attack. Um, 
foam sword at ob4 is super nice because i do hit the this level four right here so magic defense plus 30 percent oh yeah brand all your weapons by the way too uh the important thing about both matt and barrett here are they're they're both going to use bio or give them both bio because you'll have a extra chance to for bio to proc and if bio procs uh, you know you want bio to proc so you can get out of this battle as quick as you can if bio doesn't proc just kind of just do a reset until you know you get a good run that does but anyway that's pretty much mad everything else is just magic defense stat sticks uh cura for the cure all because foam sword uh, supports that cure all spot uh, cure all slot and barrett here barrett's going to be doing uh p attack and magic attack down with uh, retro cannon super nice this weapon, you could just put in whatever. I just threw it in because of the HP and PDF. Uh, I gave Barrett Judgment Bolt with these Clearstool Gloves. So uh, it'll help him his summon do a little bit better. A little, a little bit more damage. This outfit's nice because, you know, Indomitable Soul is super good. I'm glad I drew on this Barrett, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, bio, all, bio as well. And then stat sticks for... PDEF, magic defense, and then you need sigils too for the both sigil phases, or pretty much just one sigil phase. But, alright, I think that kind of covers it for this setup. Um, yeah, let's go into my uh, best run right now. All right, you guys, so those are two of my best runs. Uh, that Baylor King was actually my best run at the moment. Genova, I've done a little bit better on, but uh, you kind of get the idea for both. Uh, you know, Cloud is just super important to have in this guild battle, and without them, it's going to be pretty hard. Like, this top 13, man, I don't expect this to hang for top 20. I don't even know if it's going to hang for top 50, to be honest. So, you know, if you have OB6, you can make this work for probably top... 150 even like less than at least six i would think because that fixed damage like i said is super important for cloud and yeah you can probably easily hit top 
you know, 350, top 600. If you just, you know, just lower the HP on the bosses and just try to kill it as fast as you can. You know, that's pretty much the best advice I can give you when it comes to that. If you don't have cloud set up. But all right, you guys, that's going to cover it for this battle ranking video. Um, if you found this helpful, please give this video a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all on the next one. Later.